Well, hello everyone. Boy, what a year this has been. Certainly not one that I would have predicted that we'd have. I'm sure no one else would have predicted it either. No doubt we all know someone who has battled COVID or uh, lost that battle to COVID. It's been a, definitely a difficult year. And in March, when the pandemic really became a reality for all of us, things started to change rapidly. Here at Zojo, for example, we canceled our annual user conference, which was scheduled for about the middle of March, right when the pandemic was really uh, becoming a true reality for all of us. Uh, that was difficult because we really enjoy the Zojo annual conference, but it is what it is. We had to cancel it. There really was no other choice. And we've all had to learn new ways of doing things. We've had to adapt. Uh, I don't want to say to a new normal because I think this normal that we're experiencing right now is a temporary one, but we've definitely had to learn how to transition to new ways of doing things. For example, uh, for us here in my household, we've been transitioning. Uh, our son, for example, he's a senior in high school. Rather than showing up for school in person, he's been doing his senior year from home, which is not easy for anybody, but it is what it is. Uh, I think it was the right move. Nearly every week we get notices from his school that there are uh, cases of uh, students and faculty coming down with COVID or testing positive for COVID. So it's a smart thing that he's doing it from home. And our daughter is doing her freshman year of college from home as well. And I know that's not what she wanted, uh, but it's just the reality of the, the year we're living through right now. And many of you are getting used to working from home for the first time. And I know that's not an easy transition. For the Zojo team, we've been doing it for over a decade. So we are experts at working from home. We're experts at work-life balance. We've figured out ways to be as productive as you can be working at home. And uh, we've got all the technology we need and all that. It's really worked out quite well. And as a result, we all have friends that have been calling upon us and asking us for the tips and tricks on how to be you know, the best at working at home. And so we've, we've been doing that. One of the things we've been doing to help out is we're holding Zojo user hangouts on Zoom. We do them on Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, we talk about Zojo, we talk about uh, things going on in the world. We do demonstrations, users do demonstrations. It's really a great time. It's, uh, it's just a wonderful way to meet members of the Zojo community. There are those that show up every week. There's those that are new every week. So it's just a great time. We hope you'll join us. Just go to the forum on Tuesdays and Fridays. You'll see links and uh, you can join us. It'll be great. As CEO, one of the things I have to do is think about the financial realities uh, every, each and every day. And during a recession, that's more true than ever. And honestly, when the pandemic became a reality in March, I started to think that this year was going to be like 2008, uh, a very, very difficult year financially. Fortunately, that has turned out not to be the case. I think the thing that I'm more thankful for this year than anything else is pleasant surprises when they do come. And as it turns out, many people are taking advantage of this extra time at home to learn new skills, especially ones they can learn at home online. And the result of that for us has been a big increase in our web traffic, a big increase of people trying Zojo for the first time, more people watching our videos on YouTube. And the result of all that has been that sales for two new users this year are at a five-year high. Um, and we've had seen a double-digit increase in Zojo Cloud servers as well. So in just about every way that we measure ourselves uh, at Zojo, it's just been a terrific year. And that's been, like I said, a really pleasant surprise. You know, just as we've transitioned to new ways of doing things because of the pandemic, this has been a year of transitions from a technology perspective for Zojo as well. For example, we've transitioned to API 2 for web and for iOS. Uh, this makes it easier for you to share code between the desktop, the web, and your mobile projects. And we've introduced a new mobile framework as part of that. And that new mobile framework is important because it will be the framework you're going to be using with our upcoming Android support. So if you're building iOS projects now, you're going to want to look at the new mobile framework classes and start using those instead if you want to support uh, Android in the future. We've also uh, transitioned to supporting, uh, or part of Apple's transition to support their new Apple Silicon, the M1 chip. 
Uh, that's been going really well. Uh, so you can now build applications, uh, native applications for the M1. And we'll be transitioning the IDE itself to run natively uh, on the M1 next year. Uh, we transitioned our forum to, to over to a new forum software called Discourse. And that's been wonderful. Uh, if you haven't been to the forum lately, go check it out. Uh, there's just tons of features that make the forum experience so much better with this course. We're very, very happy with it. It's been great for the community. Something we added recently to our website is the Zojo Showcase. Uh, this is a, a listing of Zojo apps uh, of all type, types and add-ons, etc. It's a great place to find out what people are doing with Zojo, what people have built with Zojo. If you have an app you'd like to include, please go there. You can add it. And it's just a wonderful thing. And the Zojo Showcase itself is actually a Zojo web app made with the Zojo web app framework. So that's pretty cool too. Another change this year is we added the Zojo Most Valued Professional Program. Basically, we wanted to recognize five users that have been you know, really positively impacting the Zojo community over the years. So we asked all the members of the Zojo team to basically vote, you know, write down names of users that they felt really made a contribution. And when we added up, it turned out with the votes, we did have five users, and they are in no particular order. Uh, Kem Tekene, Gavin Smith, Wayne Golding, Anthony Cyphers, and Jeremy Leroy. And they've been doing a great job helping us to communicate with the Zojo community, and we're looking forward to, you know, their participation more and more in the coming years. Um, Feel free to reach out to them if you have questions or there's something you feel needs to be you know, better communicated. We, we'd love to hear from you. And that's just another avenue that we're using that you can use uh, to communicate with us. Now, every year we hear from users about what they're doing with Zojo. And it's honestly one of my favorite things about my job. Uh, we've heard about a few recently I wanted to share with you. The British Interplanetary Society in Italy, their Italian branch, is using Zojo to help uh, almost 2,000 students test their assembled launchers for rockets they're learning to build. Uh, so this is software that they've written in Zojo. That's pretty cool. Anything to do with rockets, I think, is, is pretty darn cool. And in Spain, the National Center for Biotechnology is using Zojo in their genetic research, so that's neat. And uh, students at the UCLA Film School are using Zojo in their studies as well. So Every month we hear more and more things that people are doing with Zojo. Again, one of my favorite parts of my job. And if you're doing something with Zojo that you think is neat or you'd like to tell us about, just email us at hello at zojo.com. We would love to hear from you. As much as there's been some pleasant surprises this year, there have of course been some unpleasant ones. We continue to miss our colleague, Stefan Pinnell, who died unexpectedly in early October. You know, it's in difficult times like this where it's important to know who you can count on. We want you to know that you can continue to count on us as you have for over two decades now. And we appreciate your continued support. At Zojo, one of the things we look forward to the most is our annual user conference. You know, as great as technology is, it's not quite the same as seeing each other in person. This year has demonstrated that just all too well. The Zojo Annual Conference has re been rescheduled for October of 2021. It's going to be in London, England. It's our first in Europe, so we're really excited about that. We strongly believe that by then uh, the you know, vaccines will have gotten out there and things will have returned mostly to normal. People will be traveling again. So we really hope that you will join us in London in October. So from everyone here at Zojo, thanks for being a part of our community. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Feliz Año Nuevo. Happy Christmas. May the force be with you. See you at XDC. Stay safe and healthy. Happy New Year! See you in 2021.